chako kamwambie bila wewe hatuwezi bila wewe hatuwezi mfalme hatuwezi lolote bila wewe mtakatifu yetu sema ni asante mtakatifu we bless your holy name jehovah We bless you Jesus our redeemer Abba Father we lift you oh God we worship you Jesus we thank you Jesus we lift you we worship you oh God you're the lord who reigns oh God you're the lord who reigns Jesus you reign oh God you reign Reign, O oh God, you reign, Jesus. Hallelujah. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We celebrate you, Jesus, today. Bwana wa majeshi leo ainuliwe Bwana wa ma bwana ainuliwe imba leo majeshi leo
matata Minguni kwa baba Hakuna matata Minguni kwa bwana Hakuna matata Minguni kwa baba Hakuna matata Minguni kwa yesu Ni pura hatele Minguni kwa baba Hakuna matata Minguni kwa bwana
Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Just lift up your hand. Yes, Lord. That is our prayer today. Let your kingdom come, oh God. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come, oh Lord. Let your kingdom come. In the days we are living, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come in Kenya. Let your kingdom come in Africa. Let your kingdom come, oh God. Your will be done, oh Father, as it is done in heaven. As it is done in heaven, may it be done here on earth. In the name of Jesus, we are partnering with the Holy Spirit. We are partnering with the heaven saying, let your kingdom come, O oh God. Let your kingdom come, O oh God. And today, O oh Father, we open our hearts and our lives that you may minister to us, O oh God. We bless you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give Jesus a shout of celebration. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. We may have our seats in the presence of the Lord today. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Buana Yesu Asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Tunataka wote ambao wako nyumbani, wako kanisani, tuseme kwa nguvu maana Yesu lazima asifiwe usiku na mchana, mambo yakiwa mazuri mabaya, everything whether it, whether it is good or bad, the name of the Lord must be praised. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesu Kristo bado ako uhai na bado anasifiwa hata wakati wa corona au wakati wa shida Yesu Kristo lazima asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen 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 Wow Wow we don't praise the Lord whether things are good Our praising of the Lord is not determined by the attitude all the altitude of the world it is determined by jesus christ himself who has given us the hope of glory bwana yesu asifiwe kwetu kumsifu mungu hatumsifu kulingana na hali ilivyo na mambo vile yalivyo hapa duniani tunamsifu maana Yesu Kristo ni bwana wa mabwana ni Mungu anayetawala ni mfalme wa wafalme ni Kristo anayeishi milele na 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 milele bwana Yesu asifiwe amen kwa hivyo sijui hali yako inakaa namna gani lakini bado msifu bwana Sijui mambo inaelekea namna gani katika maisha yako lakini haijalishi bado msifu bwana Sijui mdosa amekuambia namna gani au biashara inaenda left or right or front or back bado msifu bwana because he's worthy to be praised Somebody say amen Amen Somebody say amen 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 So welcome to church today I welcome you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this is the last Sunday of July and this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it so today rejoice because it's not your day it's not your day my brother my sister you're not the one who gave yourself this day this is the day of the Lord amen amen, amen. praise and worship you may be seated all those who are online, we welcome you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And if you're able to come to church, come to church. Come to church. When there's a permission for you to come to church, one hour, hundred people, one hour, hundred people, you come, you come. You never know. You never know the last time you'll be in church. <laughs> Hallelujah. You never know. You never know. You never know. You know, I have a friend who used to tell me, 
Unajua pasta? Eh? Pasta mimi nasikia anga nyinyi mkihubiri. Hmm? Pasta na wasikia anga mkihubiri. And he didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know what he was saying. But I want to tell you my brother, my sister, you never know. You do the will of God and leave the rest to God. Amen? Amen? Amen. So welcome to the house of God today. This is a good day. This is a blessed day. And I want to assure you that God is going to bless you. God is going to minister to you. Just to help us understand, uh, we are washing our hands as we come to church. You come with your hand sanitizer. You, uh, you maintain social distance as, as we've done in the church. And we follow all those protocols. We even go beyond because we are so careful. We are caring for one another. We are a church where we believe that everybody is in this church, we believe that everybody is somebody. And Jesus is Lord. And because we believe that Jesus is Lord, that's why we are caring for one another. So this is a blessed day that God has brought us here. Youth, I want to uh, thank God for you. Uh, youth, you've been doing a good ministry here uh, in the church. Yesterday, the youth were here. And I want to encourage all the youths. All the youth, wherever you are, please, your services on Saturday, just come. Just come. You will ensure you are 100 so that we can be blessed of the Lord. We also have our Friday meetings, Friday prayer meetings for all of us. The first prayer meetings begin from 5 to 6 and the next one 6 to 7. And we are welcoming every one of you. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. And Wednesday we have our service, our Wednesday evening service. We want to welcome you. We want to welcome you. Now, for the care groups, the cell groups, listen to me. The care groups, the cell groups, kindly, if you want to use this facility in the evenings, if you want to use the, this facility in the evenings, kindly just come to the office so that you can register your evenings that you can be able to meet. All the cell groups... All the cell groups, we would want to encourage you to meet, but to meet in this kind of a facility, like in the church, in the evenings. So all the cell groups, please, in case you want to meet, just register so that you have a facility where you can hold a hundred people for one hour in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so excited today. You know why? Because Jesus is in the house today. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, they are right here with us. And the angels of heaven are right here with us. Isn't that amazing? Can we give Jesus a good hand clap? Can we give Jesus a good hand clap? Amen. 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 Today, we want to talk on the topic, the reality of heaven. The reality of heaven. The reality of heaven. So if you're writing, I want you to write because we're going to get to an adventure. We're going to do a safari, to tafanya safari. We are going to look at the reality of heaven. Heaven. John chapter 14. I want you to turn to John, the gospel of John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. The Gospel of John, Injili ya Yohana, Sura ya Kuminane, na mstari wa kwanza haditatu. And the Bible says, John 14, 1 to 3, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Verse 2, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Jesus, we thank you for your word. We open our hearts that you may speak to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus Christ the son of the living God, talking to his disciples. It was almost his time to exit this world. And the Bible says Jesus looked at them and he gave them some reality, some facts, some very important information, some very powerful foundation, some premise that they can stand on. John 14, let not your heart be 
troubled? My brother, my sister, are you troubled? Are you in trouble? Are you facing trouble? Are you in a troubled some situation? Are you going through some trouble? Jesus has encouraged us today. Let not your heart be troubled. Are you going through mighty waters? Unapitia njia ambayo iko na mashida, na maradhi, na mambo mengi, makuteswa, na nini? Yesu akasema Yohana sura ya 11 na mstari wa moja msifadhaike mioyoni mwenu Let not your heart be troubled Why do you allow your heart to be troubled When the master the captain of the ship has said let not your heart be troubled Kwa nini unafadhaika Wakati na hodha tayari amesema amekutayarisha amekwambia ya kwamba umeketi katika hiyo seat yako whichever number thank god everyone of us we have a seat number na umeketi hapo umeweka seat belt na amekwambia katika hii safari usifadhaike moyo wako na wewe kila mara ni kubabaika kunugunika ku complain plain eh na nahodha tayari is the one driving your ship your aeroplane Na unasema naona kama nitaanguka corona. Hey, my brother, my sister, the captain has not allowed you to be troubled. So whatever trouble you are carrying, that is your own trash. It has not come from the captain. Haijatoka kwa nahodha wa maisha yako ambaye amesema yule ambaye ameanzisha kanzi mzuri ndani yako ataikamilisha ndani yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So usifadhaike moyo. They were troubled. Lord, you are leaving us. Lord, does it look like you are with us? Jesus told them, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house. In my father's house. Somebody say after me, in my father's house. There are many mansions. Say after me, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So today, we are looking at the reality of heaven. Heaven. Why am I preaching about heaven? Kwa nini naongea kuhusu binguni? Kwa nini nahubiri kuhusu binguni? Pastor, kwa nini unahubiri binguni? It is not to scare you in your present comfort life. You know, some of you are so comfortable that you scare binguni. Eh, eh, eh. Sasa hii masomo. Eh, eh. Itaniondoa pale niko. Apana, I'm not here to scare you. It is not to take you away from this earth into heaven before your time. Because some of you, by hearing heaven, you now think this is very prophetic. Pastor is now declaring that now put your house in order. No, I am not going to take you away. I am not preaching this to take you from this earth in, uh, before your time. You have to reach your time. When Yesu asifiwe, the Bible says he'll satisfy you with long life. Long life. Ata kushibisha na maisha marefu. Utaishi hapa, ndiyo Biblia inasema katika zaburi, tisini na moja. Psalms 91. It is not to make you lazy and idle here on earth, doing nothing. Kuna watu waliambiwa Yesu anarudi hivi karibuni, na katika kuambiwa hivyo, wakauza mali yao, wakauza maplot zao nyumba zao kila kitu wakaenda wakakusanyika pahali pamoja wana, wana wakakaa huko wanakaa huko wakikula wakikunywa wakisherekea maana sasa Yesu anakuja hivi karibuni kwa nini basi tupate hii mambo ya hapa duniani mali ya nini it is not to make you lazy some people are lazy because Jesus is coming soon you need to be as busy as possible as a bee doing the work of God doing the will of God but some of the reasons why I'm preaching about heaven is number one, is to remind you that this world is not your home. I would want to remind you and to seriously and carefully remind you that this world is not your home. As much as you are comfortable, as much as you have grabbed as many things as possible and you have put them in a can and canned them, closed the can, 
This world is not your home. There's a song we used to sing. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. This world is not your home. You stay in this world as if you reached. As if you reached Nilifika. But the word of God reminds us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 to 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 to 4. Biblia inasema hivi, wa korindo wa pili, sura ya tano, mstari wa kwanza hadi inne. For we know, 2 Corinthians 5, 1 to 4. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, if the house we live in was dissolved, this body, we know, I don't know if you know, Paul is writing to the Corinthians, for we know, 2 Corinthians 5, 1 to 4, that if an earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, for in this we groan, verse 2, in this we groan. I don't know if you groan, but Paul was saying, for in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is in heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Verse, five, verse 4, for we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, that for that we would be unclothed, uh, not that, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. If, for we know that if he is using that con that conditional clause, if our earthly house. In short, if Jesus delays and our earthly house of this tabernacle was dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. So I'm here to remind you that this world is not your home. This is not your home. The same thing, I used to sing a song, you remember, I know those who are born in those years, you remember that song, One Glad Morning. When the life is over, I'll fly away to a land where joy shall never end. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Oh, glory, I'll fly away when I die. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Those songs used to remind us this world is not our home. One day you will do what? You'll fly away. And I'm here to remind you. It might not mean we'll have eh, rapture. But I'm here to remind you, this world is not your home. And you need to live with that understanding. You need to live with that understanding. You need to be waking up every morning and reminding yourself, this world is not my home. I'm just a passerby. Nikupita na pita tu. I'm a sojourner. 
Mimi niko hapa duniani na kazi yangu na mizigo yangu na nini lakini mimi ni msafiri. Kuna pahali mimi naenda, kuna goal pahali naelekea. Naenda kwa makao yangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Number two. Number two, why I'm preaching about heaven is to remind you to live with, that, uh, with an eternal perspective. Is to remind you to live every day with an eternal perspective. Eternal perspective. Mwelekeo wa binguni. Unapoishi hapa duniani, unaishi maisha ukijua ya kwamba macho yangu kuna pahali na tazamia. Kuna pahali, kuna lengo. You look up. That's what the Bible says. In Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and 26 and 28, the Bible says, Luke 21, Luka, ishirina moja. Aupo mstari wa kumina ishirina tano, ya sema hivi. And there shall be signs in heaven, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, and perplexity, and seas, and waves, and roaring. Man's heart falling, failing them for fear and uh, for looking after these things which are coming on earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Verse 28. Verse 28 says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up when the things that we are seeing, the things that we are observing, the things that have been prophesied must come to pass. And the Bible says, when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. Look up. Verse 26, men's heart failing them for fear. Asubitu meongea kuhusu fear. Mungu atatupia roya ya uoga. Lakini when these things begin to come, then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption draws near. So I want to remind you, as much as you're in, in this world, look up. Wana Yesu wa sifiwe. Wacha kutazama mambo ya hapa duniani. Ya kwamba macho yako, kila wakati, in, iko set. Kwa tu mambo ya dunia. Kama Lot. Lot, the difference between Lot and Abraham is that Lot only looked at what is visible. But Abraham saw the invisible God. Lot alitazama tu mambo ya kuharibiwa akaanga, akaangalia Sodom na Gomora Biblia inasema akaona ni kama shamba la Mungu It looked beautiful it was a nice place nice location to settle it was Karen of these days it was Runda of Kenya it was all those nice places you can mention or think about it was the best location he only saw with his eyes when I settle there with my family to Tastare. But Abraham was always looking up. He was always looking for a city. He was searching for a city, not made with hands. He was living, looking around. I'm looking for a city. I know God has a habitation. I know God has a place. I know God dwells somewhere. And I'm here to remind you to live with an eternal perspective. Don't be short-sighted. Begin to live in this world with a long-sightedness. Macho yangu ya natazama mbali. Wana politician wetu wanaonanga 2022. Hakuna mtu nimesikia kisema 2027. Nataya kuwa nini. 2022. But for you as a Christian, Christo, lazima utazame mbali. Zaidi ya 2027. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Number three. Number ya tatu. Why am I preaching about heaven? To encourage you to invest more and better into your eternal destiny. To encourage you, uh, to, to, encourage you to invest more and better into your eternal destiny. Your eternal home. You invest so much into the temporal home. Nyumba mba itaisha hivi karibuni. Inakulwa na siafu na nini. Lakini Biblia inatuambia katika madhayo sura ya sita. Madhayo sura ya sita. Matthew chapter six. 
Toka mstari wa 19 verse 19 to 21 Biblia yasema hivi Matthew Matthew 6 Matthew 6 19 to 21 Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moths and rust does corrupt and where thieves break through and steal Matthew 6:19 Verse 20 But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust does corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal Verse 21 For where your treasure is there will your heart be also For where your treasure is there will your heart be also For where your treasure is there will your heart be also That's a command Hilo ni la agizo la Yesu Kristo mwenyewe anasema usiweke mali yako hapa duniani Na watu ndio wamekimbizana na mali mashamba magari mavitu kunyakuwa Bwana Yesu bariki bariki vile ulivyo bariki Yakobo ni bariki wanajiwekelea mikono ya kubarikiwa wanatafuta wachungaji ni ombeni barikiwe eh mtu atafuti pasta ni ombeni jazo na roho mtakatifu ni ombeni pacho nipate ujasiri wa injili hapana ni ombeni barikiwe kama Abrahamu kama Yakobo hey, hey. Na Yesu ametuagiza katika neno lake Mathayo sita usiweke mali yako lay not up your treasure on earth sababu kuna mambo hapa yanaangamiza hiyo mali so niko hapa leo kuku encourage pahali pazuri pa investment maana hapa duniani it is temporal temporal very temporal kama ule tajiri alikula akakunywa akaharvest akapata mali akawa na kila kitu biblia inasema ya kwamba alipopata yote akaketi chini akaambia nafsi yangu sasa ukule na ukunywe ustarehe usherehe mungu akamwongea akaongelesha nafsi yake akamwambia we pumbavu you are foolish you are stupid Simply because of abundance of harvest you think you are going to stay in this world eating and drinking and having festivals simply because things are going well your heart is very deceptive Nafsi ya Mungu ya binadamu inamdanganya sana maana wakati mtu binadamu anafikiria sasa ndio nimepata mavuno mazuri sokoni watu wamenunulia vizuri saa hii nitastarehe nitasherekea nitafanya kila kitu lakini lo pole pole sana pole 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 dugu yangu dada yangu maana wakati unafikiria sasa ndio nimefika Ah nimekuwa nikiwaza tangu nizaliwe kufikia hii eh, hii lengo this level of life God tells you you are stupid all your investments are here on earth you're very stupid all your investments are here on earth you're very foolish all your investments are just here on earth you are a very foolish man or foolish woman if all your investments are just here on earth you are very foolish You are very unwise and you realize that when you leave this world that I was foolish I was very stupid I never invested anything everything I got was for my stomach and my family and anything I did not think about the eternal life Nilifikiria tu kuhusu mimi peke yangu tumbo yangu Nikaweka mali yangu kwa Standard Chartered Barclays Bank KCB Equity wherever without knowing that one day i'm going to leave those things you are very foolish it's not me it's jesus who told it's god who told that man you are very foolish you are very stupid you are very unwise because you only you only short sighted because this 
things of this world are very temporal. Biblia inasema vitu ambavyo tunaviona na macho they are very temporal. Very temporal things. They are not eternal. They don't go beyond here. They don't go beyond here. They just stay here. Hata ukijenga nyumba ya namna gani ghorofa 10 na kitu you are very foolish if you have no investment for your eternal life. And Jesus said, lay not for yourselves. Lay not for yourselves. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves. He knew people lay treasures for themselves. Unajua, nita retire, nina karibia, nina karibia faith floor. After that sixth floor, after that seventh floor, eight years, 90, hey, lazima nijipange. Nasiyo vibaya kujipange, I'm not saying it is bad. Where jipange? Lakini you need to be wise. Jipange pia ya binguni. Have treasures in heaven. Wanaesu asifiwe? Have treasures in heaven. Kuwa na mali binguni. Weka mali ya, rasli mali yako kule binguni. Have treasures in heaven. So that when you leave this world, you have treasures. You have treasures. You have investments. Huge investments. I've been investing for my eternity. I've been investing day and night. I'm looking forward. What is 90 years? What is 120 years if you go to the maximum uh, lifespan of a human being compared to eternity? Eternity past. Eternity. You live forever. A, a, a billion, a billion, a billion, a billion of years. And you've been given short life here. And you can't invest. My brother, my sister. Ati sina kitu ya kupea mungu. Sina anything. Hi, that's a lie. That's a deception of the enemy. In fact, the Bible says, whosoever doesn't have, even that which he doesn't have will be taken away and given to the one who has. So I'm encouraging you today where to invest. Invest more and better into your eternal home. Sunajua nyumbani kwako? Kule binguni? Nesoma story moja, it inspired me ya mwalimu wa Sunday school. Mwalimu wa Sunday school. Watoto, it was a dream. And the lady was saying she saw a dream of heaven. And she was saying, those children had an accident. And when they went to heaven, this lady saw those children. They looked for the house of that Sunday school teacher. And they had very beautiful flowers. They were decorating that house with those beautiful flowers. Because that teacher was always patient with those children. Walking with them. Teaching them the word of God. And they would get some flowers somewhere and get inside that home and realize that teacher loved that, this kind of flowers. Wanna decorate nyumba yake, nyumba yake. My brother, my sister, are you decorating your eternal home? Are you decorating your eternal home? Or you think you live in that house you are in today forever? No. In fact, the Bible, the book of, the, 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 the book of Job says, even the very house you, you own, when you leave it, if you try to come back, it will refuse you. It will not know you. Ati unajaribu kuingia ukiwa ghost. Hey, katika jina la yesu tunakatama ghost. Utafukuzwa. <laughs> Haita kujua. Ati ilikuwa, hii bank ilikuwa yangu. Hey, oh, anointing oil iti ile itamwago uko. <laughs> so that you go to your eternity. Where you have been investing. Where you have been investing. You will go where you, for where your treasure is. For where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. For where your treasure is, that's what the Bible says, J J Matthew 6, 19. For where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. Don't think your heart will miss. No. <laughs> when you leave this world, your heart will go to your treasure. ile inakasiyo yangu misi kuwa nafanya hivyo. Utafuata ile yako. Ile 50 cents, wacha nifuate. That, it's a fact. It's in the Bible. Wacha ni kuniangalia, iko kwa Biblia, angalia kwa Biblia ko. For where, verse 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Hapo ndipo moyo wako itaka forever. God, do not be mocked. God is not deceived. Whatever man sows, that shall he also reap. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. So your heart, 
my brother, my sister, I'm here to encourage you to invest more and better into your eternal home. Into your eternal home. Tumanga mawe uko. Tumanga simiti uko. Tumanga vitu uko nyumba yako biya binguni. Wachanga kukaa kama umefika hapa. Don't put pillars in this world that are temporal. That's why I have to remind you of heaven. Number four. Number four. To encourage you. To encourage you what you must daily pursue. To encourage you what you must daily pursue. Your daily pursuit. To stir you up. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 to 2. Wakolosai 3. Mustari wa kwanza na wapili nasema hivi. If then you be risen with Christ. Ikiwa umefuliwa nae Christo. Seek those things which are above. Tafuta mambo ambawa Jacob juu binguni. Where Christ sits at the right hand of God. Verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. So I want to encourage you today on your daily pursuit. Your passion. Your affection. The Bible says, set your affection. Verse 2. Set your affection. Set your affection. Setting. You know how you set your clock. Vile unaweka alam yako. Ili kuamushe. Basi, wakolosai wanaambiwa. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2. Set. Set your affection yako. Affections are emotions. Set your, they are very emotive. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Your emotions must be geared on things up there, not on things here on earth. And number five, to stir your dreams and pursuits into real heavenly dreams. To stir your dreams and pursuits. Every one of us, we have dreams and pass it into reality, real heavenly dreams, real heavenly dreams. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8 to 10. Hebrews 11, 8 to 10. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing where he went. Verse 9, Hebrews 11, 9. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Number verse 10, Hebrews 11, 10. For he looked for a city, for he looked for a city, for he looked for a city, for he looked for a city. Verse 10, Hebrews 11, 10. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they had a promise. They had a promise. Walikuwa na hadi, niyo biblia inasema. Kwa imani, wakatoka katika inchi ya kaldia, wakaanza kwenda katika inchi ya hadi, wakujua ni wapi. Kwa imani, wakakaa katika inchi ya hadi, kama watu ambao ni strangers. Wakakaa katika hema, Wakiwa na Isaac, na Jacob, na watu wa wote, walika kwa hema. Unajua kwa nini walika kwa hema? Wana wa Israeli. Unajua kwa nini walika kwa hema? Abraham, alikuwa tajiri, alika kwa hema. Isaac, alikuwa tajiri, alika kwa hema. Yakobo, alikuwa tajiri, alika kwa hema. Na watoto o, wakaka kwa hema. Wakafika katika inchi ya hadi. Biblia inatuambia katika mustari wa, I, wa kumi, Hebrews 11.10. Maana, why did they stay in the tabernacles in tent? For he was looking for a city. Abraham alikuwa anatafta mji. He was looking for a city, mji, which has foundation. Wenye msingi ambao umeundwa na kutengenezwa na mungu. Mwana yesu wa sifiwe. So siku ya leo, na tunapoendelea katika masomo ya binguni. Ni kwa sababu nataka ndoto zako ambazo umekuwa nazo. Sasa uzibadilishe. Uwanze sasa kutafuta mji. Uishi hapa duniani. Ukijua ya kwamba mimi niko kwa hema. 
itaitwa ni mkono mali kama Abrahamu mimi ni mtoto wa Abrahamu bado naishi kwa hema hii ni hema Jiguze jiguze hiyo ni hema jiguze guza hema guza hema guza hema guza hema usiguze guza kwa nguvu guza kwa wacha, wacha kuogopa hema guza hema hiyo ni hema hiyo ni hema ndugu dada hata ikipakwa lipstick bado ni hema hata ikivanywa nini bado ni hema hata ikivalishwa suti mzuri kama hii koti yangu bado ni hema waishi kwa hema watembea kwa hema wakaa pa duniani kwa hema kama Abraham na Isaac na Jacob waliishi kwa hema maana waliishi hivi Biblia inasema mstari wa kumi kuhusu Abraham he was looking for a city that has foundation and today i want to stir up your heart as we finish to begin realizing you are in a tent and this tent one day itakunjwa hii hema itakunjwa na ikikunjwa utaenda katika nyumba yako ya kuishi milele si ya kuishi siku siku, siku chache milele eternity you live in that house ikiwa yako liweka ikiwa ka nini ka, ka, ka cubicle eh utakaanga cubicle forever eh ikiwa forever uki regret i wish i wish i wish i wish i wish as if horses unger hata beggars were get right lakini siku ya leo i'm stirring you up abraham was stirred up he knew the bible says he knew he was looking he was looking for a city which has foundations and that's why we have to study about that city which has found wenye msingi ambao biblia inasema who's builder and maker another version says who's architect builder and architect architect unajua wengi hapa mmejenga manyumba zenu hata mimi nimejenga na ningejua na nijue vizuri ningeketi chini na Mungu na tuongee lakini nisileki pahali hata wengi wetu tulisileki maana the best architect ni serious wengi wakijenga wanasemanga i wish i knew hapa ningefanya hivi ha? na anajenga ingine ai not hapa nimeanguka pia eh? lakini mjenzi the best architect the best of the best architect the best of the best of the best architect is god the father god the son and god the holy spirit they are the best of the best architects so if you partner with them even for building the houses that are temporary in this world you can really get very bright ideas because some of the architectural structures they have done in heaven hey utaulizanga kweni the architect in earth what were they doing they are magnificent nime pronounce vizuri evangelist ndote magnificent spectacular <laughs> you'll be amazed you'll be amazed how god is an architect you'll be shocked how god ni mjenzi yesu kristo alisema msifadhaike mioni mwenu kama mnamwamini mungu hata mimi muniamini kwa baba yenu kwa baba yetu kuna makao There are many mansions and if it was not so I would have told you I go to prepare. So all those years Jesus has been preparing. He's been preparing a place. Na unajua Yesu akiwa hapa duniani alikuwa anafanya kazi. He was working as a carpenter. He's the best architect. So my brother my sister don't be impressed. So I want to encourage you to start up your dream and pass it into eternal real heaven dreams and number seven, to encourage you to enjoy the benefits of heaven while you are here on earth. I want to encourage you to enjoy the benefits of heaven while you are here on earth. Si Abraham ali enjoy the benefits of heaven while he was here on earth. You also need to enjoy the benefits of heaven while you are here on earth. That's why Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. I want to finish. We'll continue to look into heaven. Heaven. Angalia bingu. Our eternal home. Our eternal destiny. Mahali tunaenda. It's very wrong for me being a pastor in this church and then you go to heaven and you say, "Pastor never told me about heaven." 
I'll feel very bad. I want to tell you well you are here or not. Ni vibaya niwe nikihubiri mahubiri ya binguni. Wakati watu wanakufa. Kwa nini zihubiri wakati wako uhai? Kwa Yesu asifiwe. Ni mahubiri mengi ya binguni au msafarike moyo au wakati Yesu atarudi mtakuhubiria wakati uko uhai. <laughs> Ili ukienda usipate shock of life. Wewe ina shock absorber somewhere. So that when you leave this world, you know you are going into your eternal home. My brother, my sister, as I finish. Are you ready for your eternal home? Are you preparing yourself for your eternal home? My brother, my sister. Unajitayarisha kwa sababu ya mjiwa, kwa sababu ya, ya makao yako ya milele. Eternal home is more important than the, the, this temporal home. This temporal home is just short, short-lived. Utaishi maisha mafupi sana. Watu wengi wanaambiangwa ya kwamba wakati amefika kilele chake alitamani alifanya linienda one time to a lawyer tukichukua ma certificates za, za shamba pahali akaniambia oh you know what i'm so sorry i'm feeling so sad nikamuuliza what is it madam lawyer kaniambia you know this man who has been looking for the easy easy title zitokeleze wakati zimetokelezea nimesikia alimekufa and she was so sad and i thought about it this man was always knocking. Oh, when our titles go, wakati zimetokeleze ya meenda. My brother, my sister, this world is not your home. This world is not your home. Wachanga kuishi kama ulifika. Najua sasa nilifika. Kaanga kama unatembea. <laughs> Kaanga ukiwa tayari. Stay like you're walking, you're going somewhere. Hata ukikalia chikiti, kaanga kama unaenda. <laughs> Usikaange kama nilifika, unajua nilifika, wacha ni starea, ni kule, ni kunywe, e, mambo yote, unaitisha tu kwa simu, nileta, e, ni chakula hapa. Bana, kaanga kama unaenda. <laughs> Hata ukipua chochote, kaanga kama uko msafiri. Unajua ukitembea kwa mtu na sanduku, eh? bado utaonyeshwa na sanduku, unasafiri. Eh, usianze kukampa hapa forever. Stay in this world, in a tent. And that's where you are. Journing somewhere. Amen. Hallelujah. And be ready. Stay ready. Stay ready any time, any day. You might be here and you're also staying ready for your eternity, eternal home. Ninaka hapa lakini investment zangu. All my investment nimeziweka pale katika jina la Yesu. Ndiyo tutaongea kuhusu binguni. Amen. It's going to be exciting. Because I want you to be excited of your eternal home. Ukiona mtu wa furahi eternity, eternal home, hey, huyo wako, huyo ni kumanisha roots zake zote. All the roots. Hata ukijaribu kumtoa. Hey, ameweka roots, imefika chini sana. Hapa duniani. Kaanga bila so, so strong roots hapa duniani. Hallelujah. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Amen. Ili usiache hata pa duniani ukirusha. Hey, sana. Hey. <laughs> Kukitano binguni Nasemi kutaitano hivi karibuni Uwache kuogopa Kukitano usianze ku eh, eh, To kick the backs so hard Najua sasa naenda wapi eh, You stay ready Tell your heart stay ready Speak to your heart stay ready I want us to close our eyes as we pray Speak to your heart Speak to your heart And speak it well Speak it well. That rich man spoke very bad words. My heart, eat and drink. Starehe, kunywa. Mungu wakamuita pumbavu. Speak to your heart. Tell your heart, my heart. My heart, get wisdom from God. That you may number your days. That you may count your days. That you may know how you should live. Speak those words of Psalms 90 verse 12. Give me wisdom, Lord, that I may know how I should live in this world. That I should know how I should invest. That I should know how I should live. That I should have wisdom to, know, to number my days. Because our days are short-lived. Very short-lived. A human life, very short-lived. Father, I pray today that you'll give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to realize we are here for a short time. We are sojourners. This world is not our home. That, Lord, we realize there is eternity. There is heaven. There is a place prepared for us. And that's why you told our, us not to let our hearts be troubled. If we believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And Father, prepare our hearts every day to always fix our 
spiritual eyes into eternity. Help every one of us, O oh God. Help every one of us, O oh Father, that we'll never miss heaven because heaven is real. That we'll never miss heaven. Help every one of us watching us to today. Help every one of us in this church today. Father, that we'll never miss heaven. That we'll stay ready. We'll stay with our garments clean, ready, prepared. Because it is real. Heaven is real. And Father, we thank you and we praise you because you're changing our dreams and our pursuits into eternity and eternal pursuits and dreams. I bless every one of us today. And I pray that any need represented here, whether sickness or whichever situation or lack or a financial breakthrough that is required, I pray for a healing, a financial breakthrough, a visitation, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. While every head is bowed and every eye closed, you might be here and you have not given your life to Jesus and you're saying, Pastor, I want to get saved. I want to give my life to Jesus. Just lift up your hand. If you are here and you'd want to give your life to Jesus. We thank you, Father. If you have a need, just lift up your hand. If you have a need. Atakuezesha, atakusaidia. Baba, naomba usaidie hawa wapendo. Amba wame inua mikono ya wabwana. Vita amba wana pigana wapiganie bwana. Wape ushindi, waonekanie bwana. Katika jina la Yesu, ninatangaza ushindi. Ninaharibu nguvu zote za shetani. Nguvu zote za ibilisi. Nimeziharibu katika jina la Yesu. Na ninatangaza ushindi. 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 Ushindi katika maisha yao. Ushindi katika biashara. Ushindi katika nafsi zao bwana. Hata katika afya zao. Natangaza ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asante bwana maana umetenda. Katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu tumeomba. Amen. Bwana Yesu abariki sana. Asanteni sana. The Lord bless you in Jesus name. Amen. Karibu sana Evangelist Jeffrey.